This is a recap for The Young and the Restless, Wednesday, September the 9th, 2015. Victoria and Chelsea meet up at Crimson Light, and they meet up in an effort to clear things up between them. So Victoria goes into thanking Chelsea for meeting her there, and she tells her that she just wants to make things right. So Chelsea goes into explaining how Victor used Connor, his grandson, as a blackmailing tool and having her and Gabe to stay in Guiana City. So Victoria tries to offend Victor by saying um, he only wants to establish a good relationship with his grandson. And Chelsea goes in to tell Victoria that she should know as well as anybody how Victor tries to control someone's life. So Victoria goes into saying, well, yeah, I remember when Victor had me arrested to try to stop me from marrying Billy. And that was like about five years ago. And then she says how, you know, even though Victor did what Victor did, was trying to control them and stop the marriage and everything, they still made it through. And Victor's attempts couldn't keep them apart. So then she kind of assures Chelsea that no matter what is going on now, and whatever Victor is doing right now, Victor is not going to be able to prevent them from eventually going to Paris and living like they want to live. They will finally get away from, from Victor. And Adam goes to Jabot to talk to Ashley about getting his old job back. So Billy is, <laughs> Billy is strongly against it. Billy is like, no way in hell he's coming back up in here. We are not hiring him. We don't need him. And Jack is pretty much on his side. So Jack is trying to convince Ashley that he should be there. But Ashley goes into saying how untrustworthy he is. He's a power-driven e egomaniac and, you know, all these negatives. Well, Jack kind of argues with her and saying, well, those are the main reasons why we need him here. And then he goes on to say about how Gabe can out-Victor Victor. So they need him and those characteristics, you know, that, that he has. So he'll, he'll do well here. So Billy is just highly expressing how he doesn't want him there. He, they don't need him there. And then Victor tells him, well, you don't even have a vote. So it's like, I don't even know <laughs> what you're talking about. So Ashley says to Jack, well, you don't have a vote either. I'm not going to rehire him. I don't want him here. So Billy walks out. And then Ashley tells Gabe that he could leave too. So Adam is over by the elevator and he begins to think about how he could help to find out who's behind this Paragon project. And then Jack says um, how they could use someone like him to try to figure things out behind the scenes. And then Jack tells Ashley that they can use him, you know, as an eye for the computer systems at Jabot and Newman. And then Ashley goes on to say, well, if the Paragon Project really does exist, I have a pretty good idea about who's behind it, and I'm going to be investigating it myself. So then he begins to tell Ashley, well, you know what, I'll hire him. I'll make him a special consultant. So then they kind of argue back and forth about uh, bringing, bringing him on until uh, Jack finally walks out. And when he walks out, he stops at the door, and then he listens at the door, but he only hears her making a dinner appointment with Joe. And Victoria at some point is talking to Billy. Telling Billy that Jack wanted Ashley to rehire Gay Bingham and calls him the Prince of Darkness. So Victoria starts to laugh and say, well that's funny because he used to call my father the same thing. And then Victoria tells Billy that she met with Chelsea and you know they had a really good talk. They began talking about how it would be their fifth year anniversary they start, you know, talking about how happy they are knowing that they're back together again and then they begin to make love. So then you have Lily who's at the dive bar where she takes a call from Kane. He's telling her that there is a witness that came forward to say that he saw Hillary being carried off by a man that looked exactly like Devon. So Lily walks away from Devon and um, she begins to, to tell Kane how impossible that is. It, it can't be. I know it wasn't Devon. And that it could not have been Devon, the person, is wrong. That eyewitness is wrong. It couldn't have been Devon. So Michael gets on the phone and explains to Lily that the eyewitness seemed to be the real deal. Like they, the person knew things and they gave us details and it had to have been Devon. So he tells Lily to talk to Devon, try to get him to tell her the story again, you know, from the beginning to the end. 
And at this point, Lily is kind of getting mad because it's like, okay, it wasn't Devon. Why are you guys trying to make it Devon? So Michael says he's just doing his job. So Lily goes back to where Devon is, and she begins to ask him to go over the story again about Hillary. And at this point, Devon is getting agitated. He's getting kind of angry. He's getting frustrated. And he's feeling a little uneasy. So he asks her, okay, well, what did Cain say on the phone? So she begins to tell him that um, there's an eyewitness that came forward, and the eyewitness is basically describing you carrying Hillary away. So Devon is clearly very upset, and he's like, well, this can't be. You know, what is going on here? So Lily just tells him, you know, just be honest with me. Tell me what went on. So Devon tells her how, he says, well, how am I supposed to convince a jury that I'm innocent when my own sister, brother-in-law, and even my attorney thinks that I'm guilty of murder? So, you know, at this point, Devon is just like, oh, my God. But to me, though, Devon and Neil don't look exactly alike. So it's like, first of all, Neil looks like he's taller than Devon. And then Neil has like this little natural where Devon's hair is very close cut. So I don't see how a witness could get those two mixed up and how they would think it sounds like Devon. You know, not unless the witness is paid off. You know, who knows? So after the witness meets with Cain, he asks about the reward money. You know, well, you know, where will I get the reward money? So Michael tells him that, you know, they need to check the story out before they can give any money out. And the witness says, okay, well, you know, I'll eventually just go to the police. So Michael says things are getting too complicated from Devon offering up that reward money. So at this point, he says he's not taking any more calls. It's, it's just getting too crazy. And then you have Neil with Hillary. The Celine drip is empty. So he has to hook her up to another Celine drip. Neil just lost Neil's mind for real. It's like, take that woman back to Devon and just get over it, okay? I wouldn't be surprised if eventually in an episode we'll see Neil in a, in a white jacket, in a white room, in some white clothes. Because he just went far beyond with this mess. And then Neil is telling Hillary not to die on him, and, you know, he brought her back to the house. That's their dream house and where they're supposed to be living and happy and this married couple, but she basically messed everything up. So then you have Adam who shares with Chelsea how Jack spoke up for him um, with Ashley to rehire him at Javot. So she goes on to tell him that her meeting with Victoria was worth her time and they talked about a lot. So then he starts to tell her, you know, to be careful because you can't trust some of those Newmans. And then Chelsea tells him that Billy and Victoria are getting back together and how she wishes that they could live as Mr. and Mrs. out in the open and not have to hide their relationship. So Jack walks in and he tells Adam, he's hired. You're hired and I have your first assignment ready for you. And then you have Devon and Neil who are on the patio where Devon begins to tell Neil about this eyewitness from the island saying that he saw Devon carrying Hillary away. And again, I don't see how that could be because um, Devon is short, kind of light-skinned, very close-cut hair. And then you have Neil who's taller, who's a little bit darker, has an afro and facial hair. And I don't, and even Devon looks a little thicker than Neil too, not unless whoever the person was had on a hoodie or had some clothes on that would pretty much hide what he looked like. So it's like, I just don't know. Neil, take Hillary back. And then I'm hoping that they don't just drag this out. Okay, because it's been, what, a week, two weeks already Hillary been missing. It's time for Hillary to go back home. Okay, <laughs> this has been a recap for the Young of the Restless. Wednesday, September the 9th, 2015. Like the video if you like it. Comment if you have a comment. Be sure to subscribe for more spoilers, recaps, and reviews here on Your Reality and Soap Chat. Thanks for watching.